So for my civics engagement project, I decided to attend a court case, to go donate some blood, and to also attend a city council meeting. I decided to attend a court case because I've never actually seen like what the dynamics are like of a court case in like real life. And so I kind of wanted to see what that actually be like. I wanted to see what like the courtroom would look like and like just see how they like the dynamics were between the judge and the prosecutor and everyone in the room and like what the viewers like where they sit what it looks like overall just get a feel for like how it goes i decided to donate blood because i thought that'd be a super cool experience and it was something that i could do with my mom which is always fun and then i thought that you know while i'm doing this i might as well be helping someone so Obviously donating blood, it saves three lives, so that was helping someone. So I decided that that was gonna be one of my options. And then I also decided to go to a city council meeting because I've actually never been in Kent City Hall. Um, I thought that it was gonna be kind of like a boring thing. I didn't know that if there was gonna be like a lot of stuff that actually like went on in the city council meeting. And I kind of wanted to see overall what it was like. Okay, so we're out here in front of Bloodworks. This is Mia, it's my mother. <laughs> we'll be giving blood together, because okay. two is better than one. <laughs> um, never done this before. Gonna go have some fun giving blood and get snacks afterwards, because that's why I'm here for the snack. Oh, windy. Sadness <laughs> leaving the building. <laughs> All your blood is gone. Not all my blood. <laughs> Most just, of some of just it. Just some of it. Some of it. It's not important. I'll make more. Okay. We just finished donating our blood. Both of us at the same time. I got a sticker because I'm cool. One person can save three lives. Three. Trace. With the blood that they <laughs> donate. And it took like half an hour. Yeah. And so... Not everyone can donate, and that's kind of like why it's important for all of us to go out the can. Like, if you're the right weight, got the right iron amount, mm -hmm. all of that, and you, you should go out and you should be donating blood because um, we need it. People need it when they get in accidents around town. And just like, some people just don't have what they need, and we can give them that. And so, Surgery. if you can, why not? Yay! Give blood, you get a sticker. Okay, so we're out here in front of the courthouse, you know, the Regional Justice Center with Mason. Gonna go watch some cases, gonna see how it goes, what it's normally like in the, in the courtroom. Just get a feel for it, because we've never been before. Be a good experience, so. Okay, so the case that we went and saw had to do with um, a person in power abusing their power and molesting a child. Um, it was really quick, it only lasted about 20 minutes. I just like going over the papers saying like no contact with any minors whatsoever and avoid any place where you would be in contact with one. And so that was interesting to see. And then also just like the setup itself because in the movies you always see like Everyone always has that jury, and there's always like a bunch of people there, but in fact, there wasn't a jury, and it was just the judge, and the defendant, and the prosecutor, and then their lawyer too, and yeah, there was just not as much as you usually see. Yeah, so basically, court isn't what you see on TV. It's totally different. Judges don't really talk that much. There's a lot of reading that goes on. It's really quiet. But yeah, I guess going to court and like knowing what's happening around in your community is super important because if we hadn't been there today, we wouldn't have known that like some of these things were happening or like happened. So I guess it's just eye opening and Bro, disgusting. So Bro, that's just foul. Yeah, that was a. Was, Even though that was short, that was that was hard to it's watch. Just, just, yeah. That's where we live. Also, 
they didn't want to be interviewed. They had to go. They had other places to be, other cases to take care of. So no interviews for us. Outside it's Kent City Hall right now, waiting for the meeting. First one of the month. Gonna cover some things, go over some questions, and just see how it goes. First one, excited to see what goes on in the City Hall meeting. Well, my name is Hannah, and I'm here for my civic engagement project, like all of us that are here today. Um, it's part of our uh, civics like requirement, so all the seniors have to come in. And we get to choose from a list of things, and basically they just challenge us to get more in tune with our community, figure out what's going on. So that's why we came here. All right, thank you. So we're done with the city council meeting. I got to go up and introduce myself in front of all of the city council members and everyone that was there. I was surprised at how supportive they were of kids coming in. Usually you would think they would think that you're a nuisance, but no. They're really supportive and happy to see us there. So that was nice. It was a good experience. So to kind of bring everything together, the three activities that I decided to do for my civics project all challenged me to go out in my community and to be a part of it more instead of just kind of standing on the sidelines and just hearing about things in the news. And so it was just important to give blood just because that's not something that a lot of people do. And it's something that's important because people need blood and some of them can't get the blood that they need unless we have people that donate it who are healthy like us teenagers that can and should be donating. Also, attending a court case I feel like is super important because understanding the dynamics of the courtroom is really important and like knowing what to expect and possibly like if you're in that situation, but also it's important just to know like what's going on in your community because had I not gone to the one that I had, I wouldn't have known that some of those things were happening. And so that was kind of just like eye-opening because so many things are like kept like slid under the door they're kept quiet and you don't really like hear people talk about them and then just like going there you're exposed to all of these things and it it kind of changes your opinion and then attending a city council meeting I never thought that it would be something that was important but I actually learned about like a lot of events that were going on that I didn't realize were happening had I not gone and so I feel like it's really important to like Go to those things to learn what's going on in your community, how your funding is being used, and what their plans are for the future, because it is our own city and we should know what's happening. And then it's also important just because there's the opportunity you get to voice your own opinion about what's happening and to ask questions so that you understand what truly is happening. And I feel like a lot of people don't take those opportunities and they don't understand what's happening and then are caused to be angry about what's happening like with their money and what they're doing, but they don't fully understand because they don't go out and ask these questions that they need to. I'd say that overall, the Civic Engagement Project challenged me in ways that other projects haven't, and I've been able to like hide behind just doing community service and getting away with that. But these things that we were required to do really made us reach out of our comfort zones and try new things, which I feel like I've learned a lot from this. And some of the things that I learned, I feel like I'll keep them with me through the rest of my life. And I'll keep trying to like stay more in tune with my community instead of staying in the dark. And so yeah, go civics engagement.